money you can never buy a plaid jersey it's only something you can earn i think we're good so the bikers are following me we're all going to stay together gary's going to follow the bikers he's going to blow his horn when we divert and go our way he's going to blow his horn so we know that we're all together and then we're going to take the little secret path to get to where we're going we're going to get to uh, bridgeview park we're all going to take some pictures there and then we're going to ride into town Okie dokie, let's roll. What's your city mind that energy goes today? The feather in the fire will blow it home your way. Ooh, mother, open your arms. Ooh, mother, this madness is begun. Ooh, mother. Commitment. And it's commitment before you start riding. And then the commitment when it hurts, the commitment when it's hard, the commitment when your rear end is sore, uh, and just continuing on. Training for this has helped me practice doing things that I don't want to do, that I know I have to do. I've done a lot of things in my life where I, I've started them and I wasn't sure if I could finish them. And um, the more times you prove to yourself that you can do things that you were afraid you couldn't do, you start believing you can do anything. Being able to help the kids of childhood cancer in our Upper Peninsula uh, is just amazing. They suffer, they battle, uh, they're, you know, they're warriors. And uh, you know, just to be able to be part of that and uh, being able to raise money to help offset their expenses and what they're going through and their hardships, that just inspires me, it motivates me. I draw a lot of strength from it. I feel like I've had to become strong in ways that I maybe didn't even want to become strong before. But I think life does it to you. You know, God puts something in your life where you have to actually be strong in ways that you never thought you could or you never even wanted to, but you have to. So they hand these out every day. For and that's who kids, you ride for. Kids, yep. She said for a while there was just six months living in the hospital yeah. with Rylan during, during yeah, all the seizures. seizures. And dad stayed back and worked. And he finally passed, and they're still almost 100 grand in debt. And it's been a couple of years now. It's just it's crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to miss the rides anymore. I'm done, but I'm going to miss the people. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of hard, hard times saying goodbye. The most powerful things that you accomplish in your life are the things that you don't accomplish alone, but the things you accomplish with other people. And that's part of the lesson with, I think, the, the whole cause and raising funds to help families um, that have children with cancer too is that, you know, there's a certain point where you just need, need a hand. And, um, and we all run across that at, at many points in our lives. It's all in our hands, this life of time. Let's give unto us all. It gathers round each night, each morning. We watch it pass and grow. It is all in our.